Tommy Gaishi is another Koryu technique. First, grapple in the defensive posture, holding your opponent's right arm with both arms. Fall down and place your right foot on your opponent's right inner thigh. Then throw over your right shoulder. This was the original Hikomigaishi. In a dandori situation, the throw is often made by pulling your opponent in close, holding his belt at the rear, then by throwing him, falling down in a self-sacrificing motion. The place where your foot is applied varies. There's no set place. This is the method of throwing by falling to your side. In this case, it becomes yokostemiwaza. You pull your opponent's belt at the rear close and throw by falling sideways in a self-sacrifice. ひこみ返し。You start with both sides grappling in a defensive position. The technique was already in existence in Koryu, one of the older schools of Jiu-Jitsu, and the exact same form has been handed down. In the present day Dandori, we do not start directly from such a position. In Sumigaishi, you fall backwards in a self-sacrificing movement, place the instep of your right foot in the crook of his left knee and lift him up over your head. You pull your opponent forward, grasping his rear collar to execute sumigaeshi. Here it's done by grasping your opponent's rear collar or his back and starts with uchimata. Here it's a quick turn around from the uchimata position, followed on with sumigaeshi. In Kawara Gaishi, you hold your opponent from above to pull him close, then throw as you fall face up in a self sacrificing motion. In this situation, your opponent defends himself by leaning forward. This Tawaragaishi follows upon the opponent's Morotegari. When your opponent jumps in close to execute Morotegari, you pull your feet back, hip low to defend yourself, then counter.
In Tomoyanage, you drop backwards while putting a foot on your opponent's lower abdomen and throw him back over your head. Here, the technique is applied just as soon as your opponent steps forward and tries to put his weight on his foot. Here, the opponent is pulled out forward at a slight angle as the technique is applied. This is the way you apply the technique when your opponent is in a right-handed position, making him go off balance on his toes and making him fall to his right as you throw. Here the throw is made over your head when your opponent is in the right-handed position. Here the opponent is thrown by pushing him up using both feet. ともえ投げ。真ん前に崩し、身を捨てながら足裏で相手を押し上げ、両手を引きつけます。behind this form is to use the force of your opponent as you dodge his striking motion and to throw him, lifting him up on your hip as you sacrifice yourself by falling backward. Here the opponent's hanegoshi is transformed into an uranage. As the opponent attacks with a hanegoshi, hold his hips and bring him close and throw him directly behind over your shoulder. Another way is to hold and raise your opponent up from the front, then leaning back, throw by sacrificing yourself.
裏投げその1相手の腰技をしかと左手で抱いてこらえ右手を添えて抜き上げ後ろに反り身になって捨てます裏投げその2下腹にぐっと力を入れて相手の腰を抱き上げ左足元に引き落とします In fighting on the mat, if your opponent does not get up, you can raise and hold him up from the side, then twisting, throw over your body. It appears that in the early days of judo, the effect of this technique was allowed even if you were on a mat. However, under the present system of judging, the effect of the throw is no longer recognized. Here, standing fight becomes dakiwakare. When your opponent attacks with an uchimata, you might try catching him from the rear to apply another technique. Then, when he lets down both of his hands and escapes, you can apply dakiwakare. The effect of the technique is recognized in this case. Wakare. こちらの仕掛けを飛んで逃げる相手を抱え上げ気味にし、身を捨てながら肩越しに投げます。In Hanemakikomi, you throw in a wrapping motion as you lift your opponent up with Hanegoshi. There are two methods of executing this throw. The first is to lift up your opponent and wrap him around you as you grasp him by the arm. The second method is to lift your opponent up with Hanegoshi, then wrap him around you. There's a difference in the timing. Of when you take hold of your opponent's arm. In Harai Makikomi, you lift your opponent up using Harai Goshi, then throw, wrapping him around you. There are two ways to throw. In the first method, lift up your opponent and wrap him around you as you grasp him by the arm like this. Another method is to lift your opponent up with Harai Goshi, then place his arm under yours to wrap him around you. There's a difference in the timing of when you grasp your opponent's arm.
Tiny Basami is a technique of throwing where you sandwich your opponent's body using both your feet. As soon as your feet are on a line with your opponent's, sandwich his abdomen and legs between your legs and throw in a sacrificing movement. See how Oguruma is followed by Kanibasami. As you attack with Oguruma, your opponent tries to grasp your ankle to trip you. At that moment, follow with Kanibasami. Kawazugake is considered dangerous as you fall together with your opponent. It's prohibited in a tournament. In Kawazugake, you pull your opponent's neck close and hook one of his feet from inside. As you lean back, you throw both yourself and your opponent at the same time. Osoto Makikomi starts with one of the Osoto Gari family of techniques, followed by either an outer or inner wraparound throw. In the first case, following your opponent's defense of an Osoto Gari, you throw by wrapping him around you in an outward direction. From an Osotogari, you lean on your opponent and throw him, wrapping him outwards. The final technique used is Sotomakikomi, but as it follows Osotogari, the throw is called Osotomakikomi. In the second case, you start out with Osotogari, where you place your right arm underneath your opponent's right arm. As he defends himself, you counter by throwing forward, by wrapping him around yours, as in Uchimakikomi. The final technique appears to be Uchimakikomi, but as it follows on Osotogari, it is called Osotomakikomi. In Soto Makikomi, hold your opponent's arm under your arm, step in close with your hips, then turning, throw him over your body in a wrapping motion. Place your hip close to the opponent to use as an axis in the throw. This is the basic principle of Soto Makikomi. Placing your hip next to your opponent, but not so deep, and throwing him. This is also Sotomakikomi.
here's Soto Makikomi where you first step in with your feet. You can also step sideways in a large motion outside your opponent's right foot to wrap him around. When applying Hanegoshi or Haraigoshi, your opponent may defend himself by holding close to you. It may be possible to throw him using the wrapping technique. In Tani Otoshi, you step behind both legs of your opponent in a sacrificing motion, then throw him down directly behind. If you can push his elbow up, it becomes even more easy to make him go off balance and fall backwards. Here, Kuchiki Daoshi is transformed into Tani Otoshi. On occasions when Kuchiki Daoshi cannot be executed, you might step in throwing in a self-sacrificing motion. This also is a kind of Tani Otoshi. Here you hold your opponent's right arm under your left arm. You perform Tani Otoshi, sacrificing yourself. Take a look at a different kind of Tani Otoshi. Step in behind both your opponent's legs, leaning to force him to fall.
谷落とし相手を右後ろ隅に追い落とし左足を大きく飛ばしながら身を捨てます Hikami is similar to Ippon Seoi Nage. Grasp your opponent by the arm and twist sideways to wrap him around you. Use your hip as an axis. Twist and throw in a wrapping motion. This is the basis of Uchimaki Komi. Here's Uchimaki Komi, where you step out on your right foot to set it up. Here's Uchimaki Komi after you've made your opponent retreat. Here you follow on from Ippon Seoi Nage. The moment your opponent defends himself by turning away, you grasp his neck with an arm and pull, wrapping him around you. We distinguish between Seoi Nage and Uchimaki Komi by whether you carried your opponent on your shoulder. Or simply wrapped him around you as you controlled his arm. Uchimahikomi. 相手の二の腕を下から買い込んで巻き込みます Uchimatamakikomi, you lift your opponent up using Uchimata, then throw, wrapping him around you. There are two ways to make the throw. The first is to lift up your opponent and wrap him around you as you grasp him by the arm. The second method is to lift your opponent up with Uchimata, then wrap him around you and throw. Please observe carefully the timing of grasping the opponent's arm under yours. In Ukiwaza, you step sideways on one foot, sacrificing your balance, and throw your opponent in the direction of your foot. Around 1883, when the Nage no Kata form of the throw was established, The technique was performed starting with grappling in the self defense posture. This is Ukiwaza performed by pulling the opponent forward. This Ukiwaza is performed by stepping in with your right foot when your opponent withdraws his left foot. At times, you might assume an oblique defensive posture. After pulling your opponent forward by grasping his rear collar and a sleeve and throw from a self sacrificing posture. This is a technique of following on from Kataguruma to Ukiwaza. In this technique, as you're sacrificing yourself in making the throw, it is not Kataguruma. The opponent is pulled by rolling up his right arm under your left arm, then thrown, twisting your body to the left.
浮き技その1右前に引き落としながらその真下に身を捨て肩越しに投げます浮き技その2身を捨てざま肩越しに倒します Destroy your opponent's balance in about two and a half steps, then throw, sacrificing yourself. In this technique, it's important to make your opponent go off balance till he's supported only by his toes. You sweep, thrusting powerfully with your sole just underneath your opponent's ankle from the front, then sacrificing yourself, throw him parallel to your body. Because yokogake is extremely difficult to set up, it's hardly ever used in dandori. You sometimes see it used in conjunction with sasae tsurikomiyashi in practice. The opponent falls after being thrown in a large whirl. This too is an application of yokogake.横掛けその1右前隅に崩して身を捨てながら足裏で右足を払います横掛けその2右に開きながら身を捨て相手の足首 If you try throwing your opponent with an uranage as he comes at you, he defends himself by twisting. Put your right foot between both his feet at that moment and throw, sacrificing yourself. Here the opponent's hanegoshi is turned into this technique. Here's the way to apply it following on from Tani Otoshi. The moment your opponent bends forward to defend himself against Tani Otoshi, then you follow with this.
横車相手の腰技に一瞬先んじて身を捨て左足で相手の出を阻み両手はハンドルを切るように肩越しに投げます You step to one side and throw your opponent directly to one side in a sacrificing motion. Observe the off balancing to the side and sacrificing motion. Pull your opponent to one side, make him go off balance, then throw sacrificing yourself. As you can see, in a Yoko Otoshi, off balancing and throwing are done to the side. In Yoko Akare, you step in with both of your feet next to your opponent's feet, then throw him over your body, sacrificing yourself. The moment your opponent's feet are together, sacrifice yourself and throw him above your body. Here the opponent's ogoshi is transformed into a yoko wakare. As soon as your opponent attacks with ogoshi, you open sideways and turn it into a yoko wakare. transforming your opponent's deashi harai. When your opponent attacks with deashi harai, step up close and sacrificing yourself, throw sideways with a yoko wakare. Yoko wakare can also be performed as mastemi waza on the floor.横分かれ、その1。右前に崩し、身をその前下に捨てながら引き落とします。横分かれ、その2。真ん前に崩し、身を捨てて引き落とします。